Hi everybody! Today this video is going to be a short video explaining about calcium powders and vitamin powders that are necessity to be given to your frog. So I'm waiting for my shipment for my vitamins, my new set of vitamins to come in. So today I'm just going to be explaining repti calcium here, or calcium in general, although it's the same concept of how to apply it to your food in general. So Senor, can you tell us why it's necessary for us to put calcium in vitamins for you? Nothing? Okay, I can't blame, blame the guy. If I were in my room just chilling, I would not want a camera in my face. My apologies. Okay, so the cheesy stuff aside, yeah, so it's pretty simple. So they can get several different kinds of diseases if they don't have enough vitamin, vitamins, calcium, etc. that needs to be added to their food. For example, there's one where it can appear like the frog had a stroke, where the side of his face can droop to this a lot, and like his whole face, his mouth especially. And I've heard of people mention that, for example, when they purchased their frog, they were not given enough vitamins and calcium, which can cause this certain disease. And so their face is, the face of their frog was droopy. Now, they ended up supplementing their frogs with enough vitamins and etc., but the face still remained to be droopy. So, you know, you want to prevent that, but in general, you want your frog to be healthy, right? So there's other diseases other than that one, but in general, this is a good thing to learn to help them. So it's pretty simple. So again, here I'll show the calcium I have. It's a good brand, Zoo Med. It can be given to other animals, as you see other reptiles like tortoises or chameleons. So how you apply it is simple. First of all, when you lift the cap, I would be very careful if I were you because this is kind of like lighter than baby powder. And as you know, when you open it, it poofs and it can it's so light it can spread easily. So here we have this smelt waiting. So some people like to just put it in the bag and shake their food around. I'll just kind of add it here. I just washed my hands. So see, it is very, very, very light. So of course, of course, don't completely douse it. So I'm going to mix it up a bit here. And so you're probably wondering, how often should you give your frog this food? Honestly, I've heard people say twice a week. I've also heard once. And so far, I've, I've been doing that where I do sometimes once a week, sometimes twice. I kind of alternate. And so far, he's good. And from the people I've asked, apparently this is okay too. So yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, here, I like to have this mat underneath just because the powder can stick easy, especially to the dirt, and you know, you don't want it everywhere. So yeah, so I mix it around a bit. I'm not going to give him this much smelt because he's not going to eat that much. But yeah, you put it on it and it depends if you'll want to eat it. Sometimes he'll be like, I don't really want that. And sometimes he'll look at it. I don't know if he thinks it's powdered icing or something, but he'll be okay with it. So yeah, this is an important necessity to have. I recommend this kind, Repti Calcium. And if you have any other questions, just let us know. Thanks for watching.